did you miss me? Yes or no? Keep it 100. We back. Armani TV. Uh, let's see what's on TV, man. Let's see. Shit. We just missed it. <laughs> it's all good. I'm going to entertain them like this. Danny yep. J. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Taylor Rebels. Yo. Let's go. I start off every morning in my business suit. Uh -huh. I heard the shit y'all talking. Shit was really cute. But I always do the right thing like Spice. But you heard Taylor Rebels. Now Trizzle on the mic. Happy holidays to everyone. I hope everyone's been doing well. I'm doing superb. And I'm super busy. But I got a little treat for y'all. Um, I did do... Um, a little winter coat shopping recently and while I was inside of Burlington Coat Factory You know, I had to go through the cologne section. So we're going to talk about a fragrance today That is very very hot on the um, in the fragrance community. Um, it's an old 2003 release um, It's by a company that actually is known for their pins My penmanship is pretty uh, nasty, but never mind that Y'all already know we're talking about Mont Blanc, all right? And the scent today, of course, if you know the 2003 release, Individual. So I haven't opened it yet. I wanted to show you guys the price point, of course. You know what I mean? As we give in gems, we want to show you how to shop um, consumer smart, you know, wise as well. So I got this one for $19.99. This is a 1.7. Didn't need a big, you know, big bottle of this. Um, although it's half of the biggest bottle that they have, so it doesn't really matter. Because this is a first impression, so we're going to unbox this now, rip that plastic off. How have you all been doing? What's been going on in your life? Me, I'm just working, I'm grinding, I'm on a mission. Um, Decent packaging, nothing real special about the actual box. You know, you got your basic information here on the bottom. Mont Blanc Individual. But in the fragrance community, this is raved as to be a nice fragrance. Now, I do have the note breakdown, and we're going to break down the notes before I actually spray it. Um, one thing I can say about the actual note breakdown in particular, um, there's a couple notes. It, I mean, it, it, it looks pretty interesting, to say the least. Um, but the bottle, very nice bottle. Um, that's Mont Blanc's signature, signature uh, marking right there on the top. So I like it. Very simple, it's sleek, sexy. And you have individual out here. Um, definitely can be held by the cap. It's sturdy. It, it gives me um, Bulgari. My father used to wear Bulgari a lot. Um, that's one of his favorites. Bulgari are like an Azaro chrome sort of vibe in regards to the bottle. But let's take it off, see how this thing sprays. Pretty hefty cap too. I like it. There's a lot of quality in this cap. While the center is plastic, the outside is definitely made of some sort of metal or probably stainless steel. You can actually hear it when I hear that. So yeah, let's check out the sprayer. See what this itemizer looked like. Oh, nice. Somewhat pressurized, but it definitely has quality. Definitely screams Mont Blanc. And as it hits the air, I like it. Now, while the notes, I was thinking, mm, I may not like this because of the rosemary that's on the top. Um, there's some like, uh, what is that geranium um, that's in the heart um, wild orange some blossom raspberry that's in the base I didn't know if I was gonna like this but off the initial sprays um, and we're gonna actually do some on skin oh yeah you cover it with like three sprays you see that juice pause <laughs> but yeah it's um your traditional classic um, on the opening on the opening bergamot very present um you got the so top notes um rosemary we got pineapple we got bergamot and mint oddly enough there's mint in this and i definitely get hints of the mint yep like a stick of double mint just came fresh out the pack the pineapple the bergamot um so it's like your classic um keep it 100 with you it's like a it's like a smooth version of a classic barbershop scent i actually do like this fragrance a lot i keep like in my toiletry bag that you know when i'm traveling and whatnot i keep a scent in there that smells like this and that's hugo boss orange which gives me the same sort of vibe so it's like your classic you know barbershop very very manly um it, it is definitely strong i'm actually like struggling to talk while i'm smelling this so this definitely i can tell you this now this definitely has 
uh, great potency. The longevity on this is probably going to be anywhere from six to eight hours easily. These three sprays are going to definitely linger for the rest of the evening. All right, so in the heart, you got some geranium, jasmine, wild orange, and blossom. And then in the base, there's raspberry, dark chocolate, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. So you guys know me. I'm a gourmand freak. Um, so the base is usually what I'm into anyway, with, you know, where the fragrance dries down. And that usually consists of like a, you know, a sandalwood. Um, if it does have like a chocolate in there or a coffee scent, um, any of those sort of vibes, um, I'm definitely digging it. Now, the fact that they actually blended dark chocolate with vanilla, that that caught my eye. And that was very interesting to me. And again, I didn't notice this was a blonde buy. I saw it in the store while I was actually coat shopping. And again, I knew it was raved about in the community. I didn't have it amongst my collection. Very, very uh, proud that I actually picked this up. Very happy. This was a good buy. And this is the good buy of the video because I don't want to ramble on. Gentlemen, go pick this up. Mont Blanc Individual. This is actually going to be my Thanksgiving scent. I hope you guys have a happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Spend some time with the family. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend that you think smells good. Share it with a friend that you think should smell good and tell them, look, I seen Mont Blanc Individual on Armani TV told me it was a great bar and i think you're a person that should smell great bah. <laughs> peace he, he, he have over 169 clones <laughs> i start off every morning in my business suit